Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable NVIDIA Smooth Motion for RTX 40 and 50 series graphics cards in Helldivers 2. So you can go from this to this. So let's get straight into it. The only thing you'll need to download is the NVIDIA app. Now the latest version of the NVIDIA app and the newest driver allow the RTX 40 series GPUs to finally enable smooth motion. So go ahead and download this and we'll get to the good stuff. All right, so go ahead and open up the NVIDIA app. Come over here to drivers. Make sure you have the latest 581.15 driver or the previous 581.08. 581.08 is going to be the minimum requirement, especially for RTX 40 series graphics cards, because this was the first driver to add smooth motion support for them. So make sure you have either of these. And once that's done, come to settings, games and apps, view and modify. And this is going to be a list of install paths that the app is already automatically going to scan and add in here. But if your specific drive is not showing up, you could just click add. Choose the drive on the left side here. So mine's going to be F. Click select folder. And it's going to be down here. Click close and then scan now. So now it's going to scan all of these directories for any compatible apps and games. Then you're going to come to graphics. And this is going to be the list of all of the supported games and applications. So find Helldivers 2. Ignore all of this optimize in-game settings stuff over here. Because it's better just to go into the game and put your optimized graphic settings from a YouTube video. Um, probably from benchmarking or Zycopath. Then come down here to where it says driver settings, find smooth motion and turn that on. And when you turn this on, now low latency mode is automatically going to be set to ultra. So this is going to be like kind of like NVIDIA Reflex where it helps cut down with input lag. The other important setting is going to be this max frame rate. So before you do this, though, turn on smooth motion and see what kind of average FPS you're getting. And then once you have your number down, come over here to max frame rate, click on. And let's say you're getting around 110 to 120 FPS uh, during intense fights, you're going to want to lock this down to 110 because if you do it 10 FPS lower than what you're getting, you're going to help with frame pacing and the input lag feel. If you have the FPS fluctuating up and down a lot during gameplay, it's going to cause improper frame pacing and I would not recommend that. So find the average FPS number and minus that by 10 because smooth motion is not free. It does have a cost, just like frame generation. So once you have that set in here, for me, it's going to be 240, right? So once that's set, I also recommend having monitor technology set to G-Sync compatible along with vertical sync on. G-Sync is going to help remove any of the screen tearing that you see, which is going to look pretty bad with frame interpolation like smooth motion or frame generation. So all of these together are going to give you the absolute best experience. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like with smooth motion on versus off in the actual game. Here we are in game with NVIDIA smooth motion disabled on the left side and NVIDIA smooth motion enabled on the right. You can see that smooth motion is hitting my max for bridge cap of 240 FPS pretty consistently. At the moment, this is the only way to get higher perceived smoothness aside from loss of scaling because this game is unfortunately very heavily CPU bound even with a 9800X 3D. So for those of you who are on the same boat, go ahead and try this out for a higher refresh rate experience. And in terms of input lag, honestly, I can't tell a difference because my base frame rate was already above 120 FPS. The artifacting is also much less prevalent if you have a high base frame rate. So during normal gameplay, I wasn't made aware of any artifacting or input lag delay whatsoever, though your experience may vary. So overall, I'm actually very happy with how good this game feels with smooth motion. And with that, we've come to the end of this short but hopefully helpful video. On that note, if you did find it helpful, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss more videos like this in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one.